Hello everyone, I'm going to do a super quick video for you all today, hopefully. So I have somebody coming to pick me up like literally right now, but I wanted to film something because I don't know when I'm going to have another chance. If you know me in real life, <laughs> sorry for the bouncing, I have, it's on the bed, it's fine. Anyway, so if you know me in real life, you would know that this past, what, it's been two weeks now, three weeks? Uh, three weeks ago, I went to Comic-Con in New York City. It was so much fun. Uh, it was my first time going to a convention, uh, first time going to Comic-Con, obviously then, and I had a blast. I got to meet my favorite author, Rainbow Rowell. I got to talk to, like, some comic- I got to learn about comics that I, like, didn't know about, that I'm really excited for, and, of course, I got to get all kinds of fun art slash books. So basically, this is just going to be me showing off everything that I got when I went to Comic-Con went to New York City Comic Con. This is the stuff. First off, we got our little um, Comic Con lanyard. I actually, we didn't get ours. I went with my roommate. We did not see these when we walked in, so we were just kind of walking around with like, here's my, here's my badge. Um, I had it on a paper clip and I attached it to my belt loop. Worked pretty well. It fell off once um, in the middle of a panel, which was kind of awkward. But yeah, so they had these lanyards, we just didn't see them until we were leaving, but we got them anyway. I got three, four, four little sampler things. This one is just a sampler of just various like web comics, I think. I haven't looked at any of these. So I have that. I have this sampler here for Jane Unlimited by Christian Cash Kristen Cashor. Nemesis um, by Brendan Reichs, and there's someone in your house by Stephanie Perkins. These two I've heard of before, so that's also kind of why I grabbed them. Um, I've heard of Christian Cashore before, so I grabbed that. I think this one just came with one of my purchases. I don't think I picked it up, but that's fine. I have this postcard here. Um, somebody was handing out free postcards of their artwork. It says here it is Donator Art, Don, Donato, Donato Art.com. I got a free book for purchasing a book, so that's cute. I still haven't redeemed that yet. I should probably get on that. I got this cute origami. Thing. So I have to fold this up and make an astronaut, I think. This is just a card that I got with a purchase of a comic, which I will show you in a second. This just came with it, so we'll just go to that. I got the first volume of Monstrous by Marjorie Liu and Sana Ta Takeda. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I've definitely seen this before on Amazon, and... It caught my eye. Also, funny story, I could have sworn it said Moonstress, and I was like, oh, so like she's like part moon, like she's like in spirit with the moon or something. No, it's Monstrous. Um, she's a monster, so very excited to read this. There's like a cute cat thing on the back, so, which that was one of the things they talked about at one of the panels. They're like, all fantasy comics now just have talking cats, so fun times. I got this poster for Flame in the Mist by Rene Adier, which is... Yeah, this is its own book. I thought that it might have been in the Wrath of the Dawn series, but it is not. It is its own book. And then I also got this Penguin Teen. It's just a whole bunch of quotes from like various books, like popular quotes. Like it's got stuff from If I Stay, Glittering Court, Furthermore, The Fault in Our Stars, Matched. So it's just a bunch of cute young adult book quotes and it's got the penguin in the middle. So I'm really excited to hang this up because I love books, so. There's that. I got this Vacation Land sampler type pamphlet. Yeah, it's a sampler. And uh, it also came with this button that's the um, author. So that was kind of fun. I have not read it or heard of him. It's John Hodgman. So I have a pin of his face. I don't want to put it on my backpack in case people ask me about it. And I'm like, I really don't know what it is. I just got it for free. So some other like little book things. I got this free bookmark. Don't know what it is. I got this free postcard. It looked really cute. I'm gonna hang it up on my wall. This is a temporary tattoos. It says Tra uh, Rebel, Traitor, and Hero for um, the books Rebel, Traitor, and Hero. I don't know what this is, but it's cute. It's a little comic with the Space Invaders. Don't remember picking this up. This is another postcard that I just thought was cute and wanted to hang up. Same here. Again, I just saw a lot of free things and was like, yes, I'll take that. But now we're on to the other books that I actually bought. So I got, oh, the other thing, um, Monstrous, I got signed. I also got the first two issues of Scales and Scoundrels, which, oops, I got these signed by the author. 
So that was kind of cool. He was in one of the panels that we went to. So like after the panel, we were like, oh, that sounds cool. Like I'm going to go buy them. So basically it's a fantasy series about these people going into this dungeon to try to find some treasure. So then I got this one. It's called Hazed. This is by Mark Sable and Robbie Rodriguez. I guess I should say. Gills and Scoundrels are by Gurner, Galad, and Powell. Hazed. This one I just got drawn in by the cover. I am in a sorority, if you did not know. Hi, welcome. That kind of drew me in. I was like, oh look, a comic about sororities. But then it also says on the back that it is to comics what Heathers and Mean Girls are to film, and those are two of my favorite movies. So I'm very excited to read this. The art style is pretty cute too. Like he's got like these little characters with huge eyes and whatnot. Then I picked up Heart and Brain. I love Heart and Brain. I like see it online all the time and I love it. I first started looking at these comics freshman year of college and I was like oh my gosh this is like me and my roommate. It's so funny. Now it's even more like me and my roommate. I identify as the heart most of the time so I just decided like oh it's so cute and I picked it up and like they're just so cute. Like if you haven't read Heart and Brain or like seen like the Awkward Yeti definitely look into it because it's adorable. And then the last thing that I got to be or not to be which is by Ryan North. It is a choose your own adventure of Hamlet. I already played it twice, once with my brother and once with my mom, and it's hilarious. I love it. I am a big Shakespeare fan. Again, if you didn't know, hi, hello, I love Shakespeare. This was like a must purchase. I got drawn in because the cover I could tell was designed by Noelle Stevenson, and I love her artwork. So that's what drew me in, and then like the whole Shakespeare thing kind of like sold me on it, so. There was this and there was also a Romeo and Juliet one and I used to do Choose Your Own Adventures so much when I was a kid so I was like oh my gosh it's like flashback to childhood. I went to get the other one for my birthday or Christmas like it's gonna be on my wish list and if not I'm gonna buy it myself because I'm into it. And these are fun because like you don't have to read the whole thing you can just kind of like read the little bits and pieces and like do it over and over again and get different stories so. And like it's just so cute and like this is like a it's a massive book so like you could take somebody out with this one. So that was all the stuff that I have to show you. I also, because I went to the Rainbow Rowell panel, she was talking about Carry On. It was amazing. I love her. I ended up splurging. Not splurging. It was like $5 more to get priority seating and a private signing with her. So, or like personalized signing, whatever. So I splurged and got like the priority seating. And it came with a free copy of Carry On, the paperback version. which I don't have with me. I left it at home because I have my hardcover copy here at school and I didn't need both of them. So I got that and it's signed and personalized to me. And I also got her to sign my laptop because as you know, if you saw my Redbubble haul, I bought a ton of Carry On and just Rainbow Rowell inspired <laughs> stickers. So there's like at least five of them on my laptop. So I had her sign one of them, so my laptop says rainbow, and I will put a picture of that in there. And I realized that I forgot two things that I got, so let's see if I can hold them up with one hand. So I got my shirt. It's a sci-fi shirt. Um, they were handing them out for free. They also handed out tote bags before we got there, but we got the shirts, so it's just that, and it says on the back, it's a fan thing. So that was one thing, and then the other thing, the other thing that we got that I forgot about was um, this tote bag that's uh, Blackwing. It's a book tote bag. I got it at one of the book stands because they're like, oh hey, if you buy something, you get a free tote bag. And I was like, heck yeah, sign me up. I think that's when I bought the to be or not to be um, Shakespeare, choose your own adventure. But yeah, so I forgot those two things, but that should be everything then that I got. I will also put a picture of my outfit for Comic-Con because I did technically cosplay. It was Diane from BoJack Horseman, which is my favorite TV show. If you have not watched it, yes, it's like a cartoon, but it's hilarious. It's on Netflix. Well, it's hilarious and also like super sad. Yeah, it's like self-deprecating humor. Anyway, I love it. So I was Diane. She's my favorite character. So that was a lot of fun. One person recognized me when I was walking through Artist Alley, so that was, I felt fulfilled because of that. It was a really great time. I definitely want to go again in the future because, like, there was just so much that I didn't really know what to, 
like, focus on. Like, my, I told my dad I was going to take a whole bunch of pictures, and I, like, barely took any because I was like, I could take pictures of literally anything. There's so much. So I had a great time. I learned about some more comics that I definitely am going to be checking out when, you know, when I have money and time to read. I am pretty happy. I did not spend too much money, so that's also great. And I got some pretty awesome stuff. That is all. I made it. My friend is not here to pick me up yet, so we succeeded in our video. So like this video if you like it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will have another video up soon-ish. Sorry, I just noticed I have like, I don't even know what on my pants.